Alright, what is going on guys? Mizo over here. Welcome back to another prisons video on my server OP Blocks. Guys, the server IP is opblocks.com. So guys, be sure to hop on and play. The map is new and we're having a lot of fun right now. So if you guys are subscribed to HeyFu as well as myself, you probably know that we are actually doing a versus series on OP Blocks. And you guys know Mizoid always beats HeyFu. It's just a recurring theme. So go ahead and comment hashtag Team Mizoid down below. But guys, we're going to be doing tons of progress today. Starting off with a new unique feature called Dungeons on OP Blocks. So we're going to get right into that. But go ahead and leave a like down below. And uh, let's go ahead and be Hate Food in this Versus series. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what a Versus series actually means, it basically just means that me and Hate are competing to see who makes the most progress on OP blocks. That means basically our level, our prestige, our pickaxe enchants, how much money we have, how much tokens we have, all that type of stuff. Whoever can get the furthest progression wins the series, basically. Guys, I completely forgot to mention, you guys can redeem a free rank on OP blocks right now if you go to store.opblocks.com and use the code ZOID for the Explorer rank. There's a screenshot on screen right now. Guys, there's a limited amount of uses, so go ahead and go do this right now before they run out but guys back to the video but yeah obviously as you guys know i'm new to the server so we are learning as we go and you can see right here we got these little candy crunchers these guys literally nuke the mine i mean like not completely nuke it but it takes like four of them and it's completely done so we are at our p mine if you guys didn't know p mines on here basically uh you can like control your own p mine you upgrade it you regen it stuff like that and obviously if you guys didn't know we're doing the gift card series on here the living with 300 dollars gift cards so this is episode two so yeah guys welcome back leave a like down below if you're ready and i'll bring you guys back in a bit all right so since we are still learning the server obviously because we are new to op blocks uh basically we're going to be going over this feature the dungeon feature i've not done this before so we're going to be learning it as we go but basically you do slash dungeon you can teleport to floor one of the dungeons so there are 10 different floors but you can see it says right here you need to complete the quest in the previous floor before you can go here so i think you start off at floor one and yeah it looks like i get spawned in with a full leather set uh nether helmet chest plate leggings boots you can see i got speed five right here health 15 30 35 20 um a nether sword with strength 200 starting sword dungeon starting sword. okay you can see that basically there's a starting sword and a starting pickaxe all right so what i think is going on here basically you're in the dungeon and this is like its own separate realm and then within the realm you can spend like stuff on stat upgrades you can see it costs dungeon points to like upgrade your stats would probably make you better and maybe it helps you complete the quest that you have to do to actually move on to the next floor so you can see we're at quest right here um and we have a bunch of different quests the first one is to kill 10 zombie pawns and that's a task one and you get five coins from that and with those coins you can upgrade yourself so i guess this is what we're gonna be grinding today guys welcome to the dungeons feature of op blocks all right so there are some zombie pawns obviously we're in the like the starting gear so i don't actually know like how hard this is gonna be but you can see they have 300 health Oh, they're kind of getting smoked, actually. This guy can't even hit back. He's getting comboed. Wombo downboed. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's doing a little bit of damage. Uh, I don't want these guys to steal my kills. Thank you. There's a kill right there. Yo, wait. Something's actually doing mad damage to me. Oh, it's a freaking... It's a skeleton. Okay, we gotta be careful. All right, we've just completed the getting started dungeons quest. You can see in chat, we've received five coins. So I think we can spend these on upgrades right now. All right, I was mistaken. We got coins, but we did not get dungeon points. So I think you have to convert those somehow. I'm actually not too sure about that. Um, dungeons is a unique PVE experience where you grind out quests and fight bosses to earn rewards for the main server. For more information on dungeons, use dungeons help. Okay, let's do that. All right, you can see there's a bunch of different like fields here. You can do coin souls, quests, stats, identifying, reforging bosses, commands, set effects, gang score, and mining. I'll do coins. Coins. So I basically they're used to identify or reforge gear or you can purchase upgrades from the shop All right guys So the next quest is to actually kill these skeletons and also you can see the level above your xp bar That is the actual level and when you're when you're getting those kills and those levels and stuff like that Those are the ones you can actually spend on the upgrades for the bus for yourself Yeah, you can see my xp bar has changed a little bit. It's not like too significant But yeah, obviously I guess those are a little bit more grindy. So we finished that quest Let's go check out the next one. All right, the next quest I want that money earn some money and get that bread It says earn 15 coins. How do you get that? Um, well, we've already gotten a little bit of coins. Yeah, we have 14 coins. I think you actually just kill them. Or can I mine for coins? I'm pretty sure you gotta kill some zombies. I'll kill a zombie right here. Maybe we can get a coin right now. Oh, yeah. I just got a coin from killing that last skeleton. I don't know if you need to, like, kill a bunch of them to get a coin or if it's, like, random chance. But we got one anyway, so we should have finished that. Actually, no, we only got one from that. Okay. Well, it looks like we gotta keep on killing people. All right, guys. The current progress on the quest, we have 8 out of 15. It actually does take a while to get all these coins. But anyways, we got this item from killing a, uh, I think, skeleton. It's, like, a random chance of getting these. So you take it to the identifier. I did the help thing and it says like there are two types of identifying unidentified item or unidentified sword help chest plate uh leggings or boots so basically you can identify them and you get a random piece of that rarity or you get a random item with random stats so that's what we're going to be doing you take it to the identify npc go ahead give me this what, what the heck do you do i put it in here and then identify the item okay um it's doing its little progress i think and we got a common sword 
That's actually good. That's a lot better than this one. It's actually, well, it's basically better. It's like 50 or sorry, 25% better. So that is really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep on killing these guys because that's how we get our coins. And then I'll bring you guys back when we have this quest done. All right, we've completed the quest. And I actually just realized, guys, it costed coins to identify uh, like the item. We also just got another one, by the way. Identified, uh, unidentified common chest plates. Let's go ahead and identify this. I think we put it in here. Maybe we can actually read it. Um, oh, 10 coins. Okay, we're going to do it. Give me a good chest plate. I'm hoping for something good. You know, maybe like a rare. I don't know. Uh, we got a common. But we get extra health and defense. So this one only gives health. Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. That's going to give us more health, I think. Um, I don't actually know if it gave us that much more health because I still see like the two rows. But we do have a uh, higher defense, which is good as well. All right. Well, this next one's going to take me a while. Don't worry, though. I'm watching a movie right now. We got mine a thousand blocks. All right. I'll bring you guys back. All righty. We are about to complete the challenge. We just went ahead and did that. We now have five coins. The next one is purchase an item from the shop. All right. Well, it's looking like I need a decent amount of coins to actually buy most of the stuff. I can buy like some potions or some totems, but I don't think that really helps helps i'd rather get like a permanent thing so i might actually grind up to 25 because we have 22 tokens right now uh, we could get a dungeon key so it opens a crate on floor one you know what? we're gonna go ahead and do that okay i just finished that off we go ahead and open up the crate what do you okay you can get a lot of stuff from this okay open this up see what we get hoping for something good maybe like a permanent boost that'd be nice or an unidentified thing would be good regeneration totem okay well, uh, that's okay, I guess. I don't really know. Okay, we can go to the next quest. All right, guys, we've just finished off that quest. Actually, we haven't finished it yet. I think we have to open it up. Yeah, we have to open this up. So I'm hoping for something good. Oh, it's just common leggings. Okay, so we're gonna spend some coins really quick. Put this in here. Let's see what we get. Uh, identify item. Hoping for like something rare. I think it just gives you a common item every time. Yeah, so we got Slayer leggings. Okay, wait. This item was made to destroy though through all who oppose it. You get 10 luck and 45 health. Okay, so luck just increases your chance of rare drops. So I guess that's good. We didn't have any extra luck before that. So that definitely helps. And the defense that we had got earlier just reduces damage dealt by 0.1 per point. Guys, we're identifying another common item. Oh, we got a helmet. That's pretty good. I think that gives us higher health. So I think the way the health works, I think you keep the same amount of hearts. But, like, the more health you have, it just proportionally, like, you, you take less damage with hearts. But anyways, guys, I finished off the quest we were working on, which was the 50 kill 50 zombies. We are now on the kill 50 skeletons. And then there's two more left on this floor before we can move on to floor number two. All right, guys, we we're on our second to last challenge. It is saying we need to reforge an item. So reforging is basically, I think it's, like, upgrading your item for the cost of coins. We have 56 coins. I want to put away the common sword. And you can see you can reforge it for 20 coins. Basically, let's just see what it does. Okay, you can't put any more stats on the item. Okay, maybe. Maybe we got to do something else. I think it gives you something, though. Oh, we just reforge our legs. We're going to see what this gives us. It's going to give us... Um, okay, so we have minus 5 speed, plus 100 strength, plus 45 health, and then still plus 10 luck. So I guess what that happens, it just gives you, like, random effects. Uh, I guess it makes your armor better. We now have Berserk Slayer leggings. All right, so the last challenge on the floor one is basically deal 5,000 total accumulated damage to the mutant zombie, which I think is, like, a boss. So I don't know when that spawns, but I guess we'll wait for that. Um, for now, we, we do have, like, a lot of strength, though. I just realized those legs are actually really, really good. Plus 100 strength, plus 245. We probably can, like... Uh, do a lot more damage now. All right, guys. So it turns out that bosses spawn in the dungeons every 30 minutes, but it chooses a random floor. So there's a good chance of not even going to be floor one when a boss does spawn. So the way you can like force yourself to spawn in one of these bosses is you can buy these keys again for like 10 coins and uh, roll it. And then you can try and get a mutant zombie egg. So by doing that, that can kind of force us to the next floor, which I really want to do. You can also just buy the zombie egg for 50 coins. And we're pretty close to that. So I'll probably just end up doing that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Guys, this guy just came up to me with the egg and started swinging at me. I think he's about to spawn it in. I think you gotta spawn it in right here. Go ahead and right. Oh, it's here. I just gotta do 5,000 damage. Oh my god, dude. Oh, this shit. Dude, 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 dude. There's no chance I'm doing 5,000 damage to get, to get out of this, bro. I'm literally getting smoked right now. I only have three souls. You only get a soul every 30 minutes, and it's basically like a life on HDF. I think I already explained that. Bro, he's going right for me. Like, pick on someone else, man. Come on. Dude, I'm actually like, okay. I kind of should have spent my dungeon points. Oh, I died already. I'm gonna spend them right now, okay? We're gonna go ahead, get some damage. I'm gonna level up our strength. Um, Another one of those. I'm going to do health right there. I'll do two health and then I'll do one defense. All right. We just leveled up everything. All right. Okay, I'm staying on. Oh, this guy's not even taking damage. Blue Jay's not even taking damage. Oh my God. I'm getting killed by other people. This, this skeleton, bro. Okay. Die. Good fight. Oh, what the hell is that, bro? We just spawned in a bunch of those. Dude. I, I don't even know where it is. Where, where is it? I'm getting confused. Um, oh, there it is. It's the zombie pigment. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and focus on it for a bit, but I, dude, it's almost dead already. Can I even hit it? I think it's, it's about to die already. I don't even think I did five. I don't think I did near 5,000 damage at all. 
Um, we killed it. Okay, we got a rotten or mutant zombie flesh. I, you can actually spend those in the shop. We got 10 beacons as well. So those are like, that's a real uh, prize that goes in like the real world, I guess. So we got 10 beacons. We got the damage right there. And we only did freaking 2,431. So we need another boss for sure. This guy is about to spawn in another boss. So I think this is, I think it's going to finish off the challenge. Hopefully, yeah, he has it in his hand. Shout out to this guy. Um, I just need 2.7k. Dude, he's going on me though right away. Okay, I'm just going to keep on kiting backwards. You know, we got that kite. Um... Yeah, so I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can. There's other people here doing damage as well, so I gotta be as careful as possible. And I thank God I don't have to spend all my 50 coins on a freaking zombie egg to actually finish off this challenge. So yeah, this should bring us to floor two if I can actually do damage here. Um, but he's actually, dude, I think he's gonna kill me. I only have two souls left, bro. I'm doing a lot of damage, doing a lot of damage. I don't think we got it. Did we do it? Oh, we just did it at the last second, I think. Okay, we got it. We got we got a bunch of stuff actually. That's cool. Okay, so I completed the quest. We can now go to dungeon floor two. We got the most damage on there. We got 10 beacons from that. These guys got a bunch of rewards as well. A common sword, common leggings. That is really good. So if I do this, I think we can see, yeah, all of this stuff is completed. We now have 71 coins. And if I do slash dungeon, we can go to floor number two. So that's how the dungeon system works. We finally progressed to floor number two. So now floor number two, I'm pretty sure has its own set of quests. Yeah, we can go here, has its own set of quests. It's got its own mine right here. It has its own identify shop, its own shop itself. I think the shop, is it different? Let's see. Um, it's kind of, I think these actually are better stats. And then yeah, there's mutant skeleton bones. Oh, we got we got a bunch of zombie flesh off that last one too. So we can probably buy something as well if we want to. Um, I think we could probably buy the boots. Yeah, these are only three. So I'm actually gonna go do that. All right, so yeah, the only things you can buy from the shop with mutant zombie is like the set and then the sword and i don't need the sword that you need five of them i only have three but that can actually finish off the set so we don't need these trash boots anymore i'm gonna go ahead buy these right here so this is gonna give us five percent crit rate five percent crit damage more health more speed and more defense so that is really good go ahead put those on we now have a full set on we got the common helmet the guardian chest plate the berserk slayer leggings and the mutant zombie boots all right, guys, I'm assuming you guys understand how these dungeons actually work now. Obviously, you get a set of quests. You complete the quest to get to the next floor. Each floor has different challenges, and, you know, you have their dungeon shop to actually upgrade your stats. And then by doing stuff in the dungeons, you actually receive stuff in the overworld. Obviously, like the beacons that we got from those bosses, uh, the gang points that can actually be translated into G tokens, I think they're called, and then you can spend those. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here. So, I'm going to grind out floor number two and uh, see how far we can get. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. The level two dungeon is kind of hard. I already died, and I lost all my souls. You can see I have ran out of souls completely we got past the first challenge we we're like halfway through the second one we already died those like freaking spiders they go crazy okay anyways we were back in the real world so i actually want to go back to my plot because i i want to see like how much i got from these servants since the last time i collected so we have ooh, uh 40 million dollars and 2.5 thousand tokens i guess i'll go ahead and collect all of those so thank you for that so what i'm gonna do i'm placed on these beacon generators as well i've had these for a while since the first episode i actually don't know what they do so i'll place them both down and see what we do so okay current content zero beacons of 2.1 beacons per hour capacity 20,000 uh, and then you can just upgrade it i think it literally just generates beacons that's just all it does so we also have these keys i'm pretty sure i got these while mining i guess i'll go to spawn or warp crates and we can open these guys up i think it's actually right here yeah it is we'll open that up right here and we're gonna get um a money note and we also get a booster for x nice all right guys i've been missing out on a lot you guys can do slash challenge and actually enable all of these challenges i didn't actually realize this just now um i don't know how many you can like do at once so i'm just gonna do this one first this is right here 15,000 blocks mined this one's 30,000 for 185 actually to be honest, I kind of want the tokens more, so I'm going to start this one. I don't know if you can start, like, multiple. Yeah, you can only start one at a time. Okay, so that's the one we're doing. Uh, there's also daily challenges. You can, like, you can actually change the difficulty of them, which I think it changes the rewards as well. And then something we haven't done yet is OP Spinner. You can do this every single day. Uh, it literally just gives you a free reward. So we'll go ahead and click that. We'll spin it, and it's going to see what we get. All right, so I ended up getting 100 tokens off that, so that is helpful. I think what I need to do, though, is honestly, I think the servants are, like, really OP. I need to focus on these because mining, honestly, does not give me that many tokens right now. Uh, like, I've been mining a lot to be honest we right click right here we can see right here we have 282,000 blocks mined with enchants 38,000 blocks physically so i should probably start uh, upgrading these guys with their fortune that's a thousand e tokens we can actually also do all of the kits we bought with the gift card i think we can do every single one of these so if i do i'm, I'm definitely gonna get a bunch of yeah you can see there's e tokens in there as well as xp bottles and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and redeem as much as i can oh these kits even give crystals for like fortune five i can add this on right there and there's five fortune levels which is actually a lot that's like i think that's over five thousand tokens that it would have probably costed you can see right here fortune is currently 1.5k each so yeah we just got a lot off of that 
All right, guys, I've been mining for a while now. If we do a size challenge, you can see we are five blocks away from completing the 30,000 blocks mine challenge. I think it just went ahead and completed right there. So we got 185 tokens. It's honestly not much compared to what we got from mining. Um, I could probably just start the next one, to be honest. This one, you have to auction or purchase 20 items, kill 20 players. I'll probably just do this one because I'll be mining for a little bit. But anyways, guys, you guys can see we only have 2.4 thousand tokens. But the reason being is actually because if we go to our plot, I upgraded our servants a little more. You can see we're currently level three on the four for both of these guys so the next upgrade is 5,000 tokens that kind of costs a lot um, obviously you can see we're only at 2.4 thousand and then the beacon generators are only have given us three beacons so far uh, I'm not even gonna actually I might as well just collect them um, we can see what's in the actually in the beacon shop I haven't checked this in a while well there's like crystals which are the ones we got from the kits as well um, there's actually a bunch of stuff in here my mobs I don't really need those don't need potions mob heads and micro blocks I don't really know what the, oh I just oh frick I just bought one what the heck is this for? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, great. We have a cactus now. <laughs> um, anyways, I guess uh, I, I kind of want to actually buy... Oh, I can't even buy that anymore. I'll just get the Fortune 3 crystal. I'll go ahead and put that on our pickaxe. That brings us to Fortune 71. So we're actually... We're not really close to maxing this guy out. Obviously, to prestige the next thing, we need a lot of stuff. You need to max out all the enchants first off. You need 2.5 million total blocks mined. We only have 500,000. So, I mean, we're not that far off. I mean, we are pretty far off, but it's doable. Uh, you need prestige 25. We're not even close there we literally are prestige zero right now um the enchants these are what they you can see they're currently maxed out 11 out of 50 on explosive 47 out of 100 on efficiency 71 out of 100 on fortune you guys can see the limits we're not really close to any of them the one we're most close to finishing is actually fortune i think um but all these like things like, they just increase over time as you upgrade them so yeah that's gonna take us a while but guys as you guys know we're in this versus series with hey i think we're beating them by far so get a hashtag team mesoid in the comments down below but yeah we've done a lot of progress in today's video mainly showed off the dungeons but then we went ahead and actually ran out of soul so i had to bring it over to the overworld and we did we made a lot of progress here as well you know we upgraded our uh, servants a bunch we upgraded our pickaxe a bunch you can see efficiency 47 fortune 71 so yeah we're doing very well guys i definitely think we're beating hate right now so go ahead leave a like down below subscribe to the channel i'm gonna end off today's video here well once again guys i'm uploading twice a week on op blocks obviously i'm double uploading actually pretty frequently now so go ahead and hop on to play opblocks.com and uh, yeah guys i will see you guys in the next episode that's gonna be all peace out